Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and as a part of that, we are covering how to display a logo or graphics dynamically and we have written the logic in the initialization which is a part of global definitions. Now in this particular variable, we have the name of the graphics. Now, this particular variable, we need to write into this graphics. Now, we cannot hard code one image. That particular variable needs to be passed. Now, just see here, this is the important part. If I will click here, what it is saying, dynamic field value. Yes, we want to go for dynamic field value now. So I will simply click here. It means now I want to go for dynamic field value. And if I view again go for that, now it is clearly saying fixed value. Now we are not going for fixed value. We are going for what? Dynamic value. So I clicked and now I will go for dynamic value. What is the name of the variable which has the dynamic value? LV underscore graphics. And you all know very, very well. Yes, whenever you want to display the values, whenever you want to consider the values, you always, always need to write M percent. So I will simply write M percent. So I will check the syntax now and I will activate. So rather than passing the hard coded image, we passed the name of the variable which has the image name or logo name or graphics name. Now what I will do, I will simply go to the table through SM30 transaction code because now we need to go for few values where the currency is other than INR. How I will test the result if currency is not other than INR? Suppose for order number three and four, I will go for USD. Suppose currency is USD, United States dollars. So if I will pass order number one, two, five, six, seven, it will display the Tata logo. If I will go for order number three and four, it will go for cap Gemini logo. Now for the best understanding, I will simply, simply go to debugging mode. And you all know, if you want to go for debugging, yes, you cannot put a breakpoint through red mark. There is no option. So I will put a breakpoint through coding. I will write break and I will put my user ID. This is dynamic breakpoint, user dependent breakpoint. You can put a breakpoint in the function module of the smart form also. It's totally your wish as it is already a covered topic, how to debug a smart form. Now I will go to the driver program. I will run the program. Suppose firstly, I will go for order number one. I will go to execute button. I'll put the device. Now from the internal table, from this internal table, we pass the data to the work area. And if you see in the work area, for order number one, what is the currency value? INR. So if I will go for if condition, you can see LS data hyphen currency is INR. So first if condition is true. And you can see what is the value of LV underscore graphics? It is Tata underscore logo. And this variable, yes, if you remember, we are going for M percent that variable M percent. It means it will simply, simply display which particular graphics Tata underscore look. And you can see we are able to see the first image 
Now we will go for second test case. Suppose I will go for order number three. I will go to execute. I will go to print preview. And you can see for order number three, we have the currency is US. Now this if condition is failed. So system will simply, simply go to else part. And you can see the value of LV underscore graphics is cap Gemini underscore logo. Now you can see we have different, different value of the variable depends upon the currency. And yes, we are displaying that particular logo. And you can see we are able to see the cap Gemini logo. And this is real project. Yes depends upon the requirement customer ask for different different logo now the most most i'll say most common mistake especially from the freshers so suppose i will go for a simple change here i will go to global data suppose i will simply simply change the length of the variable to character 10 most most common mistake now you gave the length character 10. Now what people will say, suppose simply, if I will go to our program, suppose I'm going for order number one. I will go to execute. I'll go to print preview. Now you can see LS data currency INR now lv underscore graphics what is the length 10 if you gave the length 10 it can accommodate tata underscore logo one two three four five six seven eight nine nine it can accommodate everything is perfectly fine now suppose we are going for order number three we are going for order number three now for order number three, currency is USD. Now if I will go for this, now you can see LV underscore graphics, what is the length 10? If you gave the length 10, is it able to accommodate full cap Gemini underscore logo? No. This is the most, most common mistake because we do not think at that point of time that we have given the shortened length and we gave a big name of the image. How, how? Now this image does not exist at all. Whenever it will try to display this, it will not display anything, nothing because this is the wrong name. Now you can see nothing. We are not able to see anything. If I will go for, this is the previous session. If I will show you again, I will run. I am running this program. So wrong name of the image is passing. Control will remain here only. You can see nothing, no output came. And many times people think, yes, why, why the output is not coming? Because we are asking system to display a image and we gave the short length the system is not accommodating the full name of the image and you can see we are not getting the output at all so just take the consideration into at that point of time what is the actual length so if i will go for character 20 now it will be perfectly fine if i will go for order number one if i will execute It is perfectly fine. It is displaying Tata logo. If I will go for order number three. Now it is displaying Cap Gemini logo. So what is the summary of last two videos? In this last two videos, we covered how to display a logo or graphics dynamically and maximum time customer ask for dynamic logo. So what is your, what you have to do at that point of time? Take a variable 
and assign the value to the variable, assign the name of the graphics to that variable based upon your condition. Suppose in our example, the condition is based upon currency. Now go to your graphics, whatever the graphics you are displaying, click on to dynamic field value option and pass the name of the variable which has the name of the graphics or logo. But the most important thing, please, please take into consideration the length. It should not be the case. You are doing everything correct, but that variable is not taking the full name of the image or logo. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.